Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing Virgo their weekly love read. Virgo, this is for the week of February 14th through the 20th. Um, this is going to be a little bit different. We are going to do what's coming towards you in love, but I'm doing um, a part, a, a part, a pile for singles involved and separated. So the separated could be someone like in a legal separation, someone who is taking a break with their partner, or someone who feels like they have been disconnected from their person for whatever reason, and they feel like they are like soul lovers in separation. So um, take how they resonate with you. These are general reads. Um, if you feel like it's not resonating, feel free to check your moon or your rising signs. Um, Oh, you can get a personal read. There's a description in the, in the box below if you're interested in a personal read. And I thank you guys for watching and, and coming to my channel. So thanks for your support, guys. I do really appreciate it. Oh, we're also going to get message cards for each set, too. Um, so let's see, Virgos, what do we have for you? Okay. All right. What do we have coming for you in love? Well, if you're single, Virgos, and, and that's the other thing too, pick whatever pile resonates with you. I think I will try to put timestamps below, but we'll see. So if you're single, Virgos, I feel like, um, I think Cancer had something a little bit similar. I feel like um, you are kind of balancing your life out. You could be coming out of a divorce um, or a legal situation, but you're definitely finding balance in your life and getting things stable. I feel like you're kind of getting rid of what no longer serves you and getting completely balanced out with this justice card being here. But what I see coming towards you in love is fantastic. Um, a queen of cups kind of energy, male or female, it does not matter in tarot. It's just the energies. This is someone who is empathetic, compassionate, loving, caring, um, um, just emotional, like a uh, caretaker, nurturing, just super loving, super, super loving uh, energy coming in that could potentially be or is going to be your wish fulfillment. So this is going to be a situation, um, perhaps they're going through a divorce and they're coming towards you um, or they're stabilizing their life too. That could be because I feel like this is what's coming towards you in love. So um, definitely someone who really is truly in love with you and has a lot of love to show you. Um, and that is going to be a wish fulfillment for you, singles. All right, we're going to get a couple of love vibe cards from Kings of Aloha. King of Aloha, sorry. I'm not the one for you. And I didn't reach out to you because I'm not interested. Well, shit. <laughs> um, I feel like, honestly, if someone's coming as the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Cups, I feel like maybe they were lying to themselves previously. Um, maybe they lied to you previously and were like, I didn't reach out to you because I'm not interested and I'm not the one for you. Like, you need to move on. But, um, or I guess they could feel that way, but they have love for you. Tons of love. Um, I really don't feel like, I feel like those are the lies. The lies that they're telling themselves or telling you. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you take that however it resonates, guys. All right, for those that are involved... I feel like you're definitely in a situation that has a lot of passion. You could be with, there's wands and cups here. So you could be with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Aries, or a uh, water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Uh, it doesn't have to be, but um, I feel like there's a lot of passion here with the Knight of Wands. Lots of love, uh, lots of passion, lots of fire, lots of energy, good energy between you. But there's also the Page of Cups here, uh, which is a lot of love. Um, the Page of Cups often is an offer of a romantic proposal or a love gesture. This could be, you know, if you guys are in a committed relationship, this could be a proposal. This could be, if you guys are, you know, committed, this could be like, let's move in together. This could be uh, just like a, a nice romantic gesture if you're married already, um, or it could be kind of a level up, like a, a proposal. Um, or, you know, if you guys are dating, then let's be exclusive kind of energy. But there is definitely conflict in your situation. Um, I feel like there's a lot of arguments and a lot of conflict, but this connection is definitely full of love and passion. So, you know, hopefully this is a temporary thing, this conflict. Um, let me just draw a couple cards for this to clarify this Five of Swords. But, or Five of Wands, excuse me. The Five of Wands could be competition or conflict. I feel like it's definitely... Since this is a marriage situation, it's arguing. What are you arguing about? Um, 
Okay, so we get the tower in reverse, the star card, and the ace of wands. So um, the ace of wands is the magic stick, right? So, you know, maybe there's some, maybe your wishes are not being fulfilled in the bedroom. We'll just leave it at that. Um, and this is something that is a situation that is causing an upheaval <laughs> in your situation. So perhaps you're arguing out about like things in the bedroom not happening. Um or you're not getting your wishes fulfilled kind of in general. Um, I'm just going to leave that there. You can decide what you want to take with that, Virgos. All right, so that's for the involved Virgos. But um, I definitely do see your situation one full of love and passion, right? Definitely lots of love and passion. But there's some conflict. It doesn't look like it's the end, of, uh, like a ending of a, a situation kind of conflict. But um, definite conflict. All right, so those who are separated... I feel like, I don't feel like anything's coming toward you with love right now. <laughs> I feel like your message is to continue to be patient. Um, so the temperance card is here. This could be um, like a Sagittarius energy, but this is to kind of uh, be patient, get balance, uh, focus on yourself and find the balance that you need for your situation. I think your person, honestly... Um, could be working on getting themselves balanced as well. I feel like they do feel sad without you. I feel like there is this sadness, this apathy, this depression, but they're showing up as the high priestess. You know, they're kind of going in with their thoughts and they're not, oh shoot, I did it again. Um, sorry guys, hold that thought. Let me go back to uh, Virgos. I wonder how many of these I just all and all missed. Um, White Rose Guidance, Divine Love Messages for Virgos who are involved with one another. You are my dream, dream come true. I am shocked at your existence. And I would just hurt you more right now. I need to be alone. Okay, so maybe your person's kind of pulling away even romantically because they know that they're not going to do anything but cause you some harm. So um, they're just kind of holding back a little bit. Sorry, guys. I'm so sorry about that. I just totally screwed that up again. All right, now back to separated. I'm going to kind of restart because I'm putting timestamps on the bottom. Um... I did that to Cancers too. I wonder if you guys are involved with Cancer or not. So Cancer, I just gotta jot this down in Virgo. I need to kind of put something in the um, timestamps to make sure I you guys get your full message. Okay, so um, if you are Virgos in a separation situation, I feel like you or they need to kind of find some balance in the situation. I feel like um, the Temperance card is a Sagittarius card. This could be someone needing to kind of be patient and stabilize their situation. They need to find balance and it's taking a while. I feel like this is a separation situation that's going to continue, unfortunately, guys. I don't see um, someone coming back just yet. Um, they, You and your person probably both are feeling this apathetic, sad, kind of depressed situation looking at what you've both lost and not looking to what you actually currently have. Um, and then we have this high priestess, your person's coming in with this high priestess energy, which is really kind of spiritually tapping into their intuition, but they're really not coming out and saying anything. They're not communicating. They're not reaching out. So I feel like your person is definitely seeking some balance. I feel like you guys are both kind of trapped in this sad, apathetic feeling um, of missing each other. But there's no forward movement at this point. Um, the high priestess, though, is like a spiritual card. So I do feel like excuse me, your person is potentially like just figuring things out and spiritually healing in their head. Um, so they could potentially be moving forward towards you. Um, I just don't see it happening this week. We're going to get a couple of cards from you have my heart and separation. I'm sorry. You have my heart, soul lovers and separation from angelic revelation. One, four, four. Sorry. All this stuff's flying out and I can't even talk. Um, not talking to you absolutely breaks my heart and soul into a billion shattered pieces. I want to reach out to you, but I can't find the words right now and I'm feeling so fragile right now yeah that's what I said they're not talking to you but um I admire you I care about you I trust you I respect you and I love you unconditionally you are my true love so I, I think just give that some more time just be a little bit more patient guys I do think it will be coming back together it's just not yet so hang in there big hugs um all right guys I think that's all we have for Virgos please like share comment and subscribe guys I really do appreciate all your support. Um, thanks so much for watching. And until next time, guys, take care. Thanks. Bye-bye.